everyone, this is John, and today we are going to go through nine must-have plugins for WordPress bloggers. Now, as you can see on the screen here, we've got the blog post, and I will put the link in the description if you are wanting to visit the blog and you're on YouTube or on some other video site that you're just watching this. Uh, there's plenty more content on there as well as just the nine plugins. I have a blog post that shows you how to start a blog if you're wanting to start a blog. But basically we're going to dive on into this. This here is if you really like this content, I'd encourage you, and I would much appreciate it, if you would go ahead and share this image to Pinterest. First one that I think is an absolute must, and that one is a kismet. Now what this thing does is it blocks spam so that you're, uh, you're not going to get inundated with comments. I once had this very blog inundated with a bunch of spam comments. I don't think it was anything to do with what I did. Well, maybe it was. I didn't have a kismet in there. So things, one thing led to another. I approved one comment, and what do you know? One comment approved based on my settings. And they were all allowed to get in there and start piling up thousands of comments. So get a kismet. The other one that is going to go along with is also down below in the next in one of the next uh, listings. But here's another one. Pretty link. Now, if you have ever been in an affiliate marketer and you have a long list listed uh, URL, but you don't know how to tell that to somebody in a conversation. Pretty Link is going to help you do that. It's going to be able to shorten it up and it also will brand you. So if you're you're looking to brand yourself, you need to use Pretty Link. It will use your domain, your blog domain, and then you just put a, like it says right here, Pretty Link Pro, and you can get a 30 day, 30 day trial on if you click this on this link. <clears throat> uh, but this is the easy way to tell you how to go to a site without having to tell people all the other characters and all the other slashes and different words. This is the way to do it. Go to Pretty Link. And just clicking on the link, it is an affiliate link. Prices don't change, but they do give you the right uh, benefits and stuff. The next one I'm going to tell you to get is called Social Network Auto Poster, SNAP for short. This one is something I just recently implemented and what it does is it goes through your, your blog posts and it tells you, well it doesn't tell you, it posts for you your blog posts and you can set up rules like rules uh, and what I mean by that is you can, let me see if I can get you into my dashboard and we'll do it in a different tab so that um, so let's go to snap. So you can see here, you can go to different social networks and set up your accounts. And you can make rules up so that it'll do old posts, older in a certain amount of days. Uh, you can do new posts that are less than seven days and it'll post that and you can tell how often to do it. Like you want to do it every once or two two times a day because some people don't make this aren't able to see them. It'll also post your your featured image as well. So and, and you can do a quick post. Here's a little quick post thing. It gives you instructions down here in the bottom right on how to do each social network. So if you're if you're not sure how to do things, then uh, you get a instructions to do all of this and can you imagine being able to write out a post a blog post and then and automatically sending them out to all of these in one fail swoop and it does it in a way that you can just relax and not have to worry about um, well is it going to look good is it going to write things that I really want it to say because in the let me see here the reposter I think is what we want to go to I'm going to go through this quickly. So I've got them going auto post using my account. 
post newer than 30 days and older than one hour. So after one hour of being on the web, it'll go out and repost it. And I'm not sure if I have it set to repost. Uh, so it's done three of them already. Uh, and then there's some other things, rules that I've got in place as well. So just this is one of the ones you really want to consider putting on your blog and having it go if you're looking to get some traction in your blog and uh, ultimately start to make more money. So I know there's a lot of struggling bloggers out there. The next one is called Discuss. Now I'm not disgusted. <laughs> this one actually is a commenting system. It is way more versatile, has more features than the commenting system that comes with WordPress. WordPress doesn't do any spam detection as far as I'm aware of, uh, but it will actually do that as well for you. Um, this one actually will work hand in hand with Akismet as well. So get this one installed. It's a free one and there's a community of people that are already signed up so don't have to worry about them wanting to comment and not. It's an easy sign up really. It's, it's a no-brainer. It's protecting your blog and your comment system. You can back up your comments and put them somewhere else if you ever have to change. Then you just reattach those comments to your next blog. All right, next one, Pinterest Verify. Now, I've, I've not really s cemented this one in yet uh, because I had a little bit of issues with this after I had posted this. Right now, I'm using a different way to, to verify my Pinterest account. And because I'm so new on the Pinterest, the Pinterest, I'm still testing things. So this is a live document. So if this changes, you'll know that I've made some different plans. And you know, right now, Pinterest Verify is how I'm going. I do verify with a different, uh, through my domain, which happens to be GoDaddy, is where I host my stuff. Uh, there are some links for GoDaddy as well. Uh, I like the fact that I can just register things right there. It gives me fast and amazing support. It gives me fast uh, load times. They're very, they're very top of the line, honestly. And the only thing that I've noticed so far is that GoDaddy doesn't... They have a really good affiliate program, and right now I'm not part of that. So... Go ahead and go there. That's fine. Eventually, my links are going to reflect the affiliate as soon as I can get that going. Uh, it does take a little bit of time for them to do, to do that because it is manual. So, that being said, we're going to move on to the next one, which is Google Console, which is formerly the Webmaster Tools for Google. Uh, the plugin really is just a connection to Google so that you can get analytics to your site. Uh, and know who's visiting and where they're coming from. Simple as that. Uh, you can do some more things in there. I have not delved into that yet, but I will. I'm that kind of a, an entrepreneur. I like to dig into things and find out what they do and how they do them, and, and that's just me. So uh, the next one, better click to tweet. I absolutely love this one. However, this one is has not worked yet, and it's because I have it under a numbering system, I believe. And but I will get this thing to work. It should work under a numbered system. I might have to change how I code this page, but uh, it will start working. It's a it's an amazing thing. You can uh, find this on other blog posts as well in my uh, on my blog. Uh, but you should get this one. This is an amazing one and works really well. Next one is WP Smush. Now, if you've ever had some analytics done to your blog and you know that I don't know if you can hear me okay that might be better let's, see if, let's do this there we go that might be better for you so WP Smush is a way to smash the size of your images images can be the bottleneck of loading your page and you want to make sure they're, they're very small Op or if you want to optimize, make sure your images are 100K or less. I would say, and that's some information I got while I was doing my research on blogging a while ago, but if you are 
if you can't get it down to 100, I would say no more than 200K. If you think about how many images have to load and think about there's still some people that have very slow internet. In the U.S., we have Gigabyte, and I know in Europe, if you're watching this, you have, you've had Gigabyte for years now, it seems like. So go ahead and get WP Smush. It doesn't mess with your uh, graphics. It just encapsulates and puts them into a different form, delivers them, and then undoes. It's like a zip and unzip process. Uh, it's amazing. The next one is your email marketing and you need to have an email marketing system set up if you're on a blog because you need to collect some emails. Email is where it's at people. I know that you're probably fighting the idea of having emails and yeah sure you could go get get response or you could get Aweber or uh, there's some other ones that if you don't have the budget right now but I'm going to tell you something right now here. Click on the link here that I provide with you and I will give you a free trial for as long as you're under a hundred contacts. Once you reach a hundred contacts or subscriptions, then they'll charge you, I believe, for a monthly setup. It's $49.95 or $49.99, one of the two. And if you do the yearly, it gets you down to like between 40 and 42, I believe. I'm not sure exactly. Don't quote me on that one. But it does give you a discount for it. Now, Drip is one of these, I, I, I came from GetResponse. I liked GetResponse when they made the changes for marketing automation, but I wasn't getting my emails sent because somehow when I first started out with GetResponse, I was on, I was a newbie with GetResponse and I was sending out all these emails that the companies were telling me to send them out and I got labeled as a spammer. So they put me on a bad IP and never delivered anything. So what do you do when you're in that situation? You cancel your account. It's one thing about GetResponse. You buy the account in a yearly basis. It's the only method that they do it. And you're stuck with them for a year. However, I was able to be very diligent and get that rest of my money back like two or three months before it ended or something like that. All right, and then so Drip. Drip is amazing because as you can see from this, from this, you can do workflows. Uh, you can do different integrations, and you know, just go ahead and try it out. It's I've grown to love it because it's so feature rich, and it actually outperforms some of the more expensive ones like Infusionsoft or um, ConvertKit, I believe. ConvertKit's probably a close competitor, but ConvertKit is more expensive. Uh, until you start getting into more than like 2,500 or 3,000 contacts, I believe Drip is probably the best, best bang for your buck because you get all these features and integrations, whereas like Aweber and GutResponse might be cheaper, but they don't give you as much. They, they seem like they do, but they're not. So you can even check it out right here in this video. Uh, how to set up your drip campaign. I've got more videos coming out for drip as well. Uh, but that is the nine different ones that I put on my blog. One last thing about drip, they give you a code that actually integrates with your site. And when you log into drip, let me show you what drip looks like. When you log into drip, <coughs> So you can see this. They've just recently revamped their website. It's full of color, as you can see. You can get your drip free there, and you can do a demo. And they have support, and they'll even do emails for you. This is amazing. So this is your dashboard. And I have about 2,100 different uh, broadcast rate, actually, subscribers. I'm at a little over 2,000 subscribers. And you can go through here. You've got automation, workflows, and rules. You can tag things, and then you put it in. So these, this graph here is all coming from my blog, as you can see, traffic sources. So this is it graphs it out, shows you different things that you can do, and boom. And it looks like I've got some Pinterest, too. Cool.
All right, so that is for Drip. I highly, highly encourage you. Go get Drip. It's an amazing email marketing system. So that is it for today. I will see you next week in the next video where I am going to start doing one video per week on Fridays for the first three weeks. And on the fourth week, I'm going to do a video on Thursday, which is going to be Tech Thursdays. Uh, that's how I've got it set up right now. I was doing some brainstorming yesterday, and that is how we're going to be doing them. Uh, got some different buckets that I've got to fill them up and just start doing some videos. That's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Remember, go get what you want. Have a wonderful and awesome evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you're at in the, in the world, and we'll talk to you soon.